Hiya, uh, it's Sunday the 11th of December and I don't usually post video blogs on a Sunday. I usually leave Sundays to uh, basically just sorting all the emails out and answering everybody who's been kind enough to send me an email. But I got an email this morning from someone who's connected with an organisation with dementia uh, abroad, overseas, and they asked a question and it was a very good question and one that I've been asked quite a few times but always answered by email or in the forums and not really over the uh, video blog so I thought well today I would so that hopefully more people would understand the question was my mother has been also been diagnosed four years ago and she would never dream of trying to use the computer or stand in front of hundreds of people and do conferences like you do with all due respect how do you manage it now that's a good question and that's a very very sensitive question for some but i was so pleased it was asked because i think just every now and again this this kind of question needs to be answered and i'm only happy to answer and actually inform the lady that i will be doing a video blog <coughs> excuse me and uh, try to explain it Four years ago, I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I went gradually downhill. I was given Exelon. It didn't work. It just made me vomit and made me sick. So in my own wisdom, I decided that uh, nature would take its own course and I would let it um, do what it will. Within six or seven weeks, I had gone rapidly downhill. I could hardly walk. I was falling everywhere. I was stumbling. I was forgetting what was happening not less than an hour ago. I was forgetting the um, things I was putting on the kitchen and I had a terrible stutter. It was as though I had a stutter and a stammer. I just couldn't get my words out and it was so frustrating. So what Elaine did, she took me down back down to the memory clinic in Turkey and said, I'm not putting up with this, is there anything you can do to help me learn? That's when I was given the wonderful drug, Ibixa. Within three months of me having this drug, I was back to my old self, almost. I was writing books, I was writing poetry, and I found the strength and the support to stand up in front of a conference for the very first time and explain how it feels to be on the precipice of being so poorly and then coming back and how it feels as though I've been given this second chance to try and help people and to try and tell them a little bit of what I remember and a little bit of my life and how it goes on now. One thing that is asked a lot and one thing I, I do ask myself a lot is sometimes do I feel guilty because I feel so well from these drugs and the answer is quite simply yes I do. I do feel guilty sometimes I'm happy for my family and I'm happy for my friends and I'm happy for me but sometimes I think why why me why am I doing so well yet others aren't and then I was explained to me that others are doing well on this drug abixa there was a program on the television nine months ago where a gentleman actually got his driving license back because he was given this but the thing to remember is it is not a cure and it certainly won't last forever and also it doesn't work for everybody unfortunately there's nights I've laid awake and prayed that it would work for everybody and that everybody would be as well as what I am at the moment I have my day I have my times you know when you read my blog and I have my moments I may be okay sometimes during the day but at night times um, some call it sundown and some call it um, a forerun of Alzheimer's and Lewy bodies especially. But at night times, my nights are horrific. I wake up screaming, shouting, sometimes for my mother, sometimes for Elaine, sometimes for people who's long gone, my children. And some of the dreams, no, not dreams, some of the night terrors I have, I would never dream of sharing them with you because they're so horrific and as I have always said how, how my angel puts up with this is totally beyond me 
Um, and I, I know I said last week in, in a, a blog I wrote, I don't know if I could do the same. Um, but when people, when I spoke to people, when I sat and think about it, of course I would do the same because there isn't anything I want to do for Elaine or any of my family. I would quite happily lay my life down for each and every one of them and do what I had to do. But sometimes I feel so guilty and I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, I know I should grab life by the neck. But never now and again this question is asked. How can you do this? How can you do that? And I don't think it's so much that the doubt in. I've always said I have um, I have my reports written out and done written on the computer of when I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's after my having my what they call a spec scan, which was very interesting because I I had an MRI and a CT scan which showed absolutely nothing wrong and it wasn't until I had my spec scan down at Derryford that it showed signs of brain damage and um, Alzheimer's stroke Lewy bodies. If anybody ever wanted to see this don't be afraid of asking I would gladly send it to you over the computer that's never a problem and never has been. And I don't feel as though I'm, I'm, I'm answering for myself here and I don't feel as though I'm explaining myself which I know I don't have to do. There will come a time when I can't talk like this and there will come a time unless they find a cure that I will end up stuttering and stammering and falling about again. I mean I fall about enough as it is now some days I don't feel as though I've got my legs on my body I feel like there's somebody else's legs and they just won't do as I'm told and before anybody says anything I don't drink and I don't smoke so it's not that unfortunately um, at least then I'd have an excuse. But I just thought that I, I'd explain all this to people. Um, that even though sometimes I may look well and sound well, that um, there are always the dark and days that I, I don't and I'm not very well. And I hope by doing this and by explaining it the best way I can, which is by video blog and doing my blogs and my awareness campaign, I hope that I help a lot of people out there. And I know that there's other people out there like me, just like me, that want to do more and want to say more and want to speak more. And hopefully by me and other people like me doing this, that will give the confidence to do so. So I hope that answers a few questions and I hope that answers a question to you, my friend. Um, over the pond, as we call it here. So, as I've said many times before this month, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope that everybody stays safe and stays well. Night night. Bye.